Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today's pick a card is going to be where is your soul expanding or where is your soul wanting to expand? Okay, so we have option number one, option number two, and option number three with the crow here. Remember that all the timestamps will be pinned in the comment section. All my information is always in the description box below. And just as a reminder, I am teaching a tarot course on the 25th and the 26th of july and all the details are in the description box below so if you feel like you need more time feel free to pause the video whenever you feel ready click play and fast forward to your selected option remember that these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind so with that being said let's start with option number one so option number one let's see what's going on with you guys where is your soul wanting to expand so i do feel here that there is speed okay i'm picking up a lot of speed here a lot of speed a lot of like um movement is what i want to say okay fast forward movement a lot of passion, a lot of intensity here is also what I'm picking up. As well as creativity, okay? I'm picking up a lot of creativity. So maybe your soul is yearning for you to be more creative or to do something creative or to focus in or on your creative tasks at this time or projects, okay? Yeah, I'm picking up on a lot of masculine energy, a lot of sun energy here with pile number one. So let's see. Yeah, exactly. So you guys got the cheetah and the cheetah here is all about uh, the sun energy okay the cheetah in this deck is all about achievement it's about action it's about that masculine energy that i was picking up on so your soul is really wanting for you to get to work in regards to your creativity in regards to where do you want to shine okay there's a lot of like suppression of doing things okay it's kind of like your soul is yearning to glow to shine in one aspect of your life but it's kind of like you're repressing that you're repressing that passion that urge okay and you're not wanting to take the leap kind of like the cheetah here <clears throat> yeah and i feel like here you're being asked to expand your energy outwards okay so again, to put in all your passion, all your drive into something. So like a creative project, your job, your business, something here. <clears throat> okay, there needs to be some type of outer expression. Because <clears throat> I'm hearing from, um, what I'm hearing here is like you have this natural kind of think of a cheetah right when you look at a cheetah whether this is at the zoo or wherever it is that you wherever it is that you see the cheetah it always catches everybody's eye right so spirit is wanting you to kind of allow yourself to be seen allow yourself to shine allow your your authentic self to come through at this time to go after your passions okay because i feel like people can detect this in you is what i'm getting here like people this is very palpable to the people around you it's something that people notice within you that you're very out there that you can shine that you can glow but it's kind of like you dim this okay you don't let this be expressed and there's a need for you to express this because i'm hearing like you will have remarkable achievements if you if you focus your your passions into your purpose whatever that is for you <clears throat> yeah and then we have the cycle child new beginning okay so for a lot of you what i'm getting here is a lot of you are running away from a new beginning of some sort 
for a lot of you are running away from something that you know you need to start but i feel like it's making you anxious with all this lavender here maybe because it's out of your comfort zone maybe because it's something different okay and i feel here like spirit is really wanting you to change your focus okay to bring it back to this new beginning to this new path that is being presented to you surrender planning okay so for some of you, you gotta shift that energy around okay i feel like you're for some of you, you're stuck in this planning stage, okay? So for some of you, it's kind of like you're stuck planning and Spirit is saying, you've already planned enough, you can move forward, okay? For others of you, it's time for you to lay those solid foundations in order for this new beginning to take place. For a lot of you, I feel like, again, this planning thing is because you're doing it out of fear, because you want to know, right? As human beings, we want to know what's next. We don't like the unknown, we don't like change. It's uncomfortable. It's scary. And I feel for pile number one, it's kind of like you're dis dis um, disguising. Yeah. Disguising that planning because of the fear. So it's kind of like you're disguising the fear and replacing it with planning here. Because again, you want to control the situation. It's kind of like, I need to make sure that this is something solid. I need to make sure that this is going to lead me to where I need to be. And the thing here is sometimes we just got to take a leap of faith sometimes. Okay, you guys. And for some of you, it's definitely in regards to a relationship. In regards to a relationship to a person. Okay. It's kind of like you're turning your back. You're turning this away from... You're turning your attention away from someone is what I'm picking up here. Know that it is done. So for some of you, there's a need for you to trust. <clears throat> okay, there's a need for you to trust to know that this beginning, your, this path is coming your way. There's a need for you to let go. To not try to control. Three of Earth. The power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. So yeah, I feel like here, be a team player with spirit, right? Trusting, believing, having faith that everything is going to work out in your favor. And again, this energy, the three of earth is about building something. So for some of you, I don't know if you're wanting to build something and you're thinking like, maybe I should just walk away from this because I'm not seeing any rewards. I'm not seeing anything being paid off here. You know, spirit is wanting you to know like it's already done. Okay, you don't need to worry about it. You don't need to stress about it. Release it. The king of fire. So you might be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, or you might be wanting to work things out, maybe with a Sagittarius here. I feel like at this time, again, this is mirroring the cheetah energy, right? The king of fire, the king of wands, and cheetah. They're both fire element. You need to ground all this fire, all this creativity, all this passion. You got to ground it. Again, you got to give it focus. In order for this new beginning to happen here, you got to give it focus, okay? Because again, your soul is wanting to to expand in the sense of your work, your creativity about making a new beginning happen for you, whether this is with the person or whether this is in regards to career. But your soul is wanting you to be ambitious to go after your your goals your passions in life okay they're saying plan as best as you can but also when the moment comes where you need to release control release it as well focus 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 communication with vision and be a leader advice from someone creative so for some of you might be getting advice from someone who is very creative or maybe someone who is an entrepreneur or someone who has their own business or someone just who you look up to Okay, who can really help you. Three of air, yeah, there's some type of sadness here. Okay, that I feel like your soul is wanting you to channel all this sadness, all this anger, all this frustration into a creative project. For a lot of you, you're feeling sad about an earth uh, fire sign. I was going to say an earth sign, so for some of you, could definitely be an earth sign. 
but there's a need here for you to forgive now forgiving i have to say this all the time forgiving doesn't mean that you that you're okay with what someone did you know it just means i am freeing myself from this and i forgive you and i'm moving on okay that doesn't mean you have to be best friends with this person that doesn't mean that you have to kind of you know take things how they were but there's a need for you to move on your soul wants to expand beyond this three of swords energy your soul wants to be a leader your soul wants you to focus your soul wants you to jump on these new opportunities this new beginning for you yes this mars energy a lot of fire a lot of masculine mars is in aries chiron is gonna be retrograding in aries if i am correct hopefully <laughs> uh, so you're going to be feeling very energized to confront a lot of things that have been keeping you stagnant that have been keeping you from achieving what you want in this lifetime and it's going to give you because mars is the fighter right mars is the warrior in astrology so mars is going to give you that extra oomph that you need in order for you to force yourself to focus to force yourself to work through certain things okay you're going to be feeling very motivated very driven here you're going to be called to take action right you're going to have a lot of drive you're going to be confronting a lot of things i feel that have been keeping you in this energy of three of swords here and i'm going to read this one off the guidebook at the end but your soul is wanting to embrace that mars energy okay your soul also wants to, and it's interesting, look at this, the first house. Mars is the ruler of the first house, you guys. So definitely, there is here an embracing of who you are. What are your desires? What are your actions? Where do you want to put your focus, your time, your energy in? There's a need for you to channel all this Mars energy into who you want to be. And what are you wanting to achieve in life? Okay, and doing it your own way. There's going to be this sense of urgency here as well, right? With the cheetah and the king of wands and the Mars and the first house. There is this kind of like, I want to make things happen right now. And that's where the surrender card comes in. Because the surrender is telling you, yes, you're feeling very pumped. You're feeling like you're ready to take action. You're ready to conquer the world. But Mars is, Mars here is, is has like a fire lit under your booty. And then the surrender is kind of like, okay, let's, let's take it down a little bit, okay? We know you're feeling passionate, but there's going to be certain things that you're going to have to allow them to take their natural course, allow things to fall into place, okay? Learning to find the balance between taking action and knowing when to take a step back is going to be very important for you guys. And then also look at this Sagittarius. So like I said, a lot of fire energy here, but Sagittarius is the eldest of the fire signs, okay? So... Yeah, for a lot of you, get it out in the world. There's there's something here that you need to get out into the world and your soul is wanting you to expand in that sense to take your role in the world and to show yourself because, you again, you're going to receive a lot of positivity, a lot of rewards, a lot of recognition for this that you want to pursue. But for some reason, you're not, you're not, I don't know. You're not allowing yourself to express yourself in this way, okay? And again, Sagittarius is all about seeing the bigger picture, right? So try to see the bigger picture here. And then innocence, yeah, which is that Aries, that um, Aries, Mars energy there. Because Aries is the eternal child in the zodiac, is the first sign of the zodiac, So again, embracing that inner child, that innocence within you and focusing that. And that's what's going to allow you to confront and channel that energy into something positive. Okay, you guys. And then we have here number 14, which is uh, the temperance, which is about balance. And it's also the card of Sagittarius. So let's see, number 14, before I move to pile number two. Okay. So it says, when we can now whoa sorry let me reread that when we can know our deepest desires in our hearts then it will come to pass what we desire for cannot manifest without experiencing it within ourselves first as we are the creators of everything in our reality we are very powerful as we are the very essence of god in living flesh it is the combination of the feeling of already having what we desire 
our clear intention and allowing what is to exist without judgment that manifests our dreams into physical form. When our emotions and thoughts are muddy, we get muddy results in our reality. And generally, muddy thoughts are a result of unprocessed emotions within us. Unprocessed emotions, you guys, within us that need to be felt and allowed to be. Know that it is done and so it is. So exactly. There is this, you guys are going to be working through or you might have already been working through a lot of unresolved emotions here. And I feel that... That is what's going to help you focus and channel that energy in order for you to take action and create and have this new beginning that you are desiring, that you are yearning for. So that is what I have for pile number one. Thank you very much for watching. If you resonated, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. So for those of you who picked pile number two, let's see, where is your soul yearning to expand or where is your soul expanding oh the elephant such a beautiful animal totem to get elephants are very smart right they're very wise and i feel like your third eye is expanding just because i'm seeing the the red dot here in the elephant's forehead so I feel like your soul here is wanting to expand. It's fire too. Interesting. We have a lot of fire going on right now astrologically, right? We have Mars in Aries and then we have Chiron retrograding in Aries as well, if I'm not mistaken. So the elephant here, your soul is wanting to remind you that you are very wise, right? That you are unstoppable. And there's a lot of positive. This is a very positive omen here. Okay, so if you're wanting to start something, do something go ahead and do so i feel like your soul is just here to remind you okay it's wanting to remind you of just how wise how intelligent and how strong you are and you stand in your commitments i'm hearing okay for pile number two there's a lot of ganesh energy that i'm picking up here lord ganesh so you might work with this energy There's a lot of your soul is wanting to help you see, okay, help you see all the good fortune that is already with you. Because I feel like pile number two, I feel like you don't take time to celebrate your achievements, okay? There's this energy of, there's this energy of like when you achieve something, you're like, oh, okay, that's good. Let me just move on to the next thing type of thing here okay and i feel like your soul is wanting you to kind of pause because i'm kind of seeing in my third eye a elephant walking and they don't walk very fast okay at least not the one that i'm seeing and so your soul wants you to know that even though you might be moving slow it's very steady okay it's very steady and very solid and that's important for you to know because that's what's going to take you to that good fortune that prosperity that you want your soul is wanting you to expand on your wisdom so for some of you, you might be learning something new for others of you you might be implementing your wisdom teaching your wisdom to others okay your soul also also wants you to know that you can destroy any obstacle that is in your way that you can clear your path and here is the thing um i'm hearing like your soul may sometimes create obstacles for you in order for you to steer you in the right direction to kind of get you back in your lane kind of thing here Yeah, there's a lot of like self-knowledge, self-mastery here for you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, what did I say? This energy of just expanding, of like self-knowledge, of tapping into your wisdom and into spirit's wisdom and knowing that you can tap into that energy at any given time. I feel for pile number two, you guys feel the energy from what's going on in the world. Like it kind of ripples within you. 
and you're able to kind of feel so like right now i feel like pile number two you're feeling the shift of all this aries energy coming through And there's also this energy here from your soul wanting you to know that you're always taken care of, that there's always enough. So I feel like your soul is wanting you to expand and grow from this lack mentality, this lack energy of like, you know, maybe there isn't enough or maybe I need to move faster because if I don't, things are going to run out. I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to run out of energy. I'm going to run out of resources. So again, there's this like sense of urgency here that's coming through as well. Pile number one got this. But I feel like you guys is pile number one was out of fear and pile number two is out of a lack energy. Okay, a lack like things are going to run out. Yeah, your soul wants you to celebrate. <laughs> celebrate the beauty in your life. Celebrate the accomplishments that you have achieved thus far. You know, all the things that you had to go through in order for you to be this wise elephant, right? To be this wise person with a lot of self-knowledge. And I feel like you've gone through this by yourself. Like this is something that your soul has put in order for you to grow and evolve. And I'm seeing a number seven here. So I feel like this is uh you might be in your in your this might be your your number 7 or you might be life path 7. Okay, this might be your year number 7 as well. I know mine's is number 7. But I feel like your soul is wanting you to just become aware, right? Become aware of everything that you have and how you have gone every transformation. You might have gone under three major transformations in your life that you can recall that they were very uh, difficult, but they, they gave you a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge, okay? And, and your soul is wanting to remind you, like, remember during those times how you felt that there was probably no way out or like there was no way you were going to make, make it out of there, how the universe provided for you, how the universe had your back. And they want you to keep moving forward with that determination, with that trust, with that blinded faith that everything is going to be okay. Yeah, achievements, exactly. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Okay, you've earned it. You've earned all those sleepless nights, you know, that you were studying or that you were building or that you were planting, you know, your seeds, metaphorically speaking here. Your soul wants you to know that there's, a, there's amazing things coming for you, okay? And that there's enough to go around. Sunshine, look at that. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. So for a lot of you, I do feel like your communication and relationship is improving and I feel like that's where your soul wants you to grow. So you might be pushed to kind of be forced to communicate maybe with the partner, with friends or with uh, your business clients. Okay, you're going to be asked to kind of be more open, be more receptive, to listen more. Okay, but I do feel like your soul is wanting you to shine, to expand when it comes to your career and your business. Self-love. So your soul is wanting you to practice and commit to a practice of self-love here. Maybe you're someone who does a lot for other people. Maybe you're someone that, you know, you put other people's needs before yours. And so you leave yourself last. You know, that is a very noble thing to do. But then it comes to a point where we can't give to others if your own cup isn't fulfilled, right? So there's a need for you to see yourself in this way. Because your soul sees you as this beautiful elephant, right? Unstoppable, very wise, a very lucky, someone who's able to walk through and move through obstacles with ease, and you're trusting and you're gentle and you're a noble person okay and they want to illuminate this for you your soul is like i want you to see yourself in this same light but in order to do that you gotta look at what you have achieved you gotta look at what you have celebrated at the beauty that is already with you okay 
and most importantly taking care of yourself and loving yourself unconditionally and we're going to read this at the end eight of water a desire to move on the search for something more meaningful spiritual and emotional growth so for a lot of you i do feel like you're having this energy within your soul of expanding you're expanding and for some of you you're going to be moving away from something okay or from people because your soul is wanting you to move in a new direction And for a lot of you, maybe you have this desire to move on, but there might be obstacles in your way or there might be this energy of like, I don't have enough or I don't have the resources or, you know, X, Y, and Z. But Spirit is saying, it's okay. Because I feel like what you're looking for on the outside, right? Because the Eight of Cups is you're not fulfilled, right? You have Eight Cups here, but none of them are fulfilling you. So this mermaid is deciding to walk away. But I feel like Spirit is saying well, that void that you're feeling is within self. And so the thing here is you got to focus on self, okay, in order for you to find that fulfillment. Page of Fire, outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your orig originality and ingenuity. I can't say that word, but okay. So there's a need for you to be confident okay to be more outgoing maybe you're someone who keeps to yourself <laughs> okay it could be but i feel here that there's some good news here that it's something that you've been working on okay maybe something that you thought you know there was a lot of obstacles in the way and i feel like this is going to make you feel very very happy for many of you this could be about a business about a career or about a relationship okay but career is really standing out here then we have the two of earth. A decision needs to be made. Too much going on at once. The need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. So again, like I said, there's too much going on. For a lot of you, you might be carrying like a, a heavy load here. And there's a need for you to kind of take care of yourself. Okay? You need to take care of yourself. Maybe a lot of responsibilities. Maybe you've been juggling too much. Spirit is saying you gotta you gotta take it down a notch here. So then we have Gemini energy. What you want to be known for, what is believed about, use that, use the quickest way. Gemini energy, your soul wants to expand and really embody the energy of Gemini. Okay, being curious, being a networker. Uh, communication that's gemini's main thing here learning information there's something here that you're gathering information okay but you're communicating this information as well but here's the thing with gemini sometimes we can get a little flighty right but I feel for pile number two is you're gathering a lot of information, a lot, and it's coming by really quick. Yeah, for a lot of you, you're walking away from a Gemini or a fire sign or an earth sign. They're all here. Then we have balance, the seventh house, relationships, the house of cooperation, your partner. There's a need to work on communication with the partner here, okay? And also the relationship with self, right? Gemini with self. The two sides of the quarter here. Loving yourself. And then we have the sun. Demonstrate, realize, act like a leader. It's time for you guys to create. Okay, to do something different, but also to realize who you are. You know, your light within yourself in order for you to step up in that leadership position. It's time for you to realize something, the relationship that you have with yourself and working on that. Okay, in order for you to shine, in order for you to grow, in order for you to find the balance that you want and that fulfillment that you're wanting. So get to know yourselves a little bit more here. 
Now let me read this card here before I move on to pile number three. Okay, self-love, the raven. As raven looks at his reflection in the water, he sees truth of who he is. As he looks at the reflection, reflection in the water, right? The eight of cups here. The water. The depth that we are willing to look at ourselves and unconditionally love ourselves is directly reflected back to us in the physical form. The ultimate surrender we can make is to the divine within us. All love flows from this surrender. What is reflected back to us in our lives is a direct manifestation of how deeply we can behold ourselves and know that we are divine and living flesh. There are no part of us or life situations that are separate from the divine. So if something has shown up for you in your life that does not feel like a reflection of your truth, it is an opportunity for you to bring it into light, surrender to it, and love it as part of your own life journey. Extreme self-love is about following your path and making decisions from moment to moment that serve your higher self and as a result serves everyone collectively. Extreme self-love is not always the easiest path and can take great courage to exercise it. To make decisions from moment to moment that serve the higher good, we must be able to look deeply at the truth of our reflection and to listen to our inner guidance. Yeah, exactly. So there's a need for you to search within yourself. Okay, I feel like for pile number two at this time, looking outside of yourself other than for it to be a mirror to you that's all the purpose it's gonna do like don't go i feel like at this time is not a good time to look externally for answers but for reflection for you to do the work within that is what i have for pile number two and i'm gonna move to pile number three thank you very much for watching if you liked if you re if it resonated like and subscribe so let's see, pile number three. Where is your soul yearning to expand? Let's see. Ooh, the cobra. All fire. That's so interesting. All piles got fire energy. I love it. <laughs> it's all the fire that's going on, right? So the cobra card here in this particular deck, it's all about the teacher. Okay, it's all about learning, it's all about expanding, it's all about, for a lot of you, you might get a teacher who appears in your life at this time, like a guide of some sort, okay, who comes for you to teach you, to show you something, but also the cobras to me, or any snake for that matter, remind me of the shedding, of the releasing, of, you know, letting go of an old identity, right? And I feel like that's where your soul wants you to grow, to expand beyond maybe a hat that you're used to wearing, a role that you're used to kind of exercise like all the time, okay? I feel like you're being pushed beyond that, that idea, okay? Or that vision of yourself. It's kind of like you're being forced to look at yourself in a different way. But also I do see here that there's there's a lot of like the inner teacher here, right? A lot of pausing, a lot of waiting, okay, right? The cobras, have you seen a cobra? They just sit there, right? They look at you, kind of hypnotize you type of thing. There's a need here for you guys to just kind of hover and to watch over, okay? To be very present, to be... I'm kind of getting like, um, I just keep hearing you're ready. Okay, you're ready. For some of you, you might be taking a class. You might be studying something. Okay, for a lot of you, you're letting go of your ego. You're letting go of your ego and of the feeling of like, I know it all. I know what's best type of thing here. Energy of loss. 
Okay, so for a lot of you, you're actually being pushed to work through the feelings of loss, the feelings of grief, the feelings that something has left, okay? There's an energy here for you to, to look at this feeling and to feel it and to not judge it, okay? Yeah, for a lot of you, what I'm getting from spirit here, it's that you're becoming a student again. You're in like this, this, you're learning something. Like your soul is saying, be willing to learn. Be that student again. Don't get into this energy of like, I know it all. I know what's going to happen or I shouldn't do this because you're in a learning stage. You're gathering information in order for you to synthesize it down the road. Okay? Wow. A lot of you are doing a lot of integrating of the shadow self. Like I said, your ego yeah and healing it healing that shadow self bringing it back into balance for a lot of you maybe you're you're studying psychology maybe you're studying some type of a healing career business um i said business so maybe a healing business but i'm also getting here like a nurse psychologist therapist counseling things like this for a lot of you, I do feel like you will be solicitating these services, okay? Maybe you're wanting to start seeing a counselor or a psychologist or a therapist, okay? To help you burn out and personal riches. So for a lot of you, I do feel like there is this, again, like I said, with the ego energy here, I do feel like you've been working very hard to the point of burnout in order for you to achieve personal riches, personal success, okay? Again, that's not a bad thing, okay? But we also got to have a balance here, okay? That's what's coming through. Yeah, I'm kind of hearing like you've let uh, fame or you've let your money kind of be the center attention of your life and i feel like you're letting that go you're releasing that that's where the shedding of the skin that i was telling you about and your soul wants you to step into this nurturing role of nurturing your feelings healing your feelings healing your shadow self that's where your soul wants to expand exactly page of water your soul wants you to step back into this intuitive aspect of you, that sensitive side of you, that artistic, that creative, that friendly. And for some of you, like I said, there's a person who's going to come back in to help you work through that. This may be a water sign. For some of you with the page of water, doesn't have to be, but this is someone who's very creative, very intuitive, very friendly, okay, very... Um, I don't, in, in a sense, you might see this person as naive because you're very focused in personal riches. You're very focused in the status of life and the 3D aspect of life. Again, it's not a bad thing, but I feel like here spirit is wanting you to bring it back into balance. And so spirit is saying, we're going to bring someone in who's very opposite from you. Okay, but there's going to be this emotional connect, connection with this person. But this person is actually what they're going to do is help you kind of like unearth this shadow aspect of self in order for you to heal that because there is this deep buried feeling of loss within you but i feel like you ignore that through your work you ignore that through working very hard okay and i feel like it's time for you to bring your attention back to your emotions And I feel like this person is going to be very important to your healing journey. Knight of Air. Yeah, I feel like you're very rational. Again, you're very rational. Uh, you're someone who is very logical. Okay? And you, you want to keep it moving. The Knight of Air. He moves really fast. And I feel like it's time for you to carefully review your options. To come up with creative solutions. To tap into that creative energy. To expand your intuition to get back in touch with your emotions that's the only way you're gonna you're gonna expand your intuition because your intuition is linked to your emotions and 
and this might be the person who helps you the queen of air too this might be an air um a libra aquarius gemini okay this person might offer you something this person might help you move from the knight to the queen might help you level up in some way spiritually and I feel like this person that, that is coming in to teach you, they're very like this, very independent, very experienced. So they've been through a lot. They might even be a teacher themselves. They might have gone through a lot of loss. Okay. Maybe there's someone who was also working for status and recognition and for all this 3D stuff. And they had some type of a loss that made him realize like, whoa, you know, that's not the most important thing in life. And so this person's maybe coming in to help you find that balance, to share their wisdom with you, okay, in order for your soul to expand and to grow. But this is, again, someone who is very realistic as well, but they're an amazing manifester. They're able to see with clarity, and they're very witty, okay? And this person will allow you to see the, the, the humor in a situation, you know. Maybe for some of you, you're going through a loss. Maybe you yourself right now are feeling like you've lost something that was very significant to you. And this person comes in to kind of help you change the perspective of things. Yeah. Yeah. So then we have Virgo. So again, your soul wants to expand with this Virgo energy. You know, the healer. That's Virgo. Focusing on the details of things. And right now, what you need to do is focus on your feelings. Healing your feelings. For a lot of you, the reason why you're expanding in this way is because you're meant to serve others. You're meant to heal others. And then we have the second house. So definitely about money, about resources. What do you value? What do you value in your life? For a lot of you, it's about personal riches. You know, what are your beliefs about money? About yourself? Do you find value in yourself only if you have the latest, you know, gadget or if you have a set amount of money in your bank or if you have the title of... I don't know, business owner or a public figure or a doctor or a master's or like, you know, what have you attached your identity and your value to? Is it to your resources? Or is it what you give to the world? And then we have Uranus here, an unusual example, a different way of looking at something, an unexpected change. And I feel like that's where this person is going to come in. Like your soul is letting you know right now that there will be an unexpected change and most likely it will have to do with your personal riches and your resources. Something that you value, something that you have attached your identity to. In order for you to do the shadow work, in order for you to heal. The Keeper of Magic, number 43. So let's read that. And it's interesting, number 43, and it's now it's 43 minutes in. Talking about synchronicities. Okay, number 43. Let's see. So the raven is the messenger from the black void of pure creation, and raven knows that all is well, for it can create magic in any situation as magic is its true nature the black iridescent feathers of the raven are a reminder that we are source energy good and bad do not exist within the void everything just is and that is that shadow work that you're going to be doing you guys and when we live in the present moment from this place of non-judgment then the magic is ours to own the more we focus on the mystery and magic of life, the more it shows itself and becomes our everyday reality. Raven also reminds us not to take life too seriously, as that can stop magic in its tracks. 
Ravens and crows are constantly around us in our physical environment and they show us how plentiful the magic is. Remember that any situation can change in a heartbeat as you are magic and your heart is your powerful magic wand. What you focus on is what you create and that is the thing. That's why spirit in your soul is wanting you to work through the shadow self to heal that because if your focus is in lack in loss gets what there's going to be an unexpected loss to that which you are focusing so your soul is wanting you to heal this in order for you to grow and get what you want essentially so that is what i have for you guys if you resonated with the message like and subscribe thank you very much for watching have a beautiful night day or morning whenever you are watching this bye